What's up, you guys? It's DZ here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best Minecraft 1.8.9 Optifine settings. Optifine is a program that boosts your FPS in Minecraft, depending on the settings that you have. If you don't use the correct settings, then you will not get very good FPS, but if you follow the settings in this video, you, my friend, will be getting healthy over 500 FPS. So let's talk about that. So your first step is just to launch up Minecraft, and then just go to Options and the Video Settings. <clears throat> now we'll be going over all this stuff later, but for now we'll just be focusing on video settings. Now for graphics, you want to keep this on fast. Now I'm going to put a picture on the screen of what fast a fancy would look like. Fancy does not look that good, honestly, I can't lie. I think fast actually does look better than fancy. Now you especially want this on if you have a bad PC, like a laptop or a Mac or slow internet or something like that. Keep this on fast if you have any of those things. Smooth lightning, keep this off, and also keep th this off as well. Do I scale? This is not going to affect your FPS at all, but I just like to keep it on normal, just because this is the best one. It's easier to click things. Brightness. Now, I'm pretty sure the default is going to be moody, but you want to put this all the way up to bright. And the reason why is because if you have it on moody, you will barely be able to see anything if it's nighttime. Now, dynamic lights, keep this off. And then shaders, we're not going to be going over this. And the reason why is because you have to enable a setting that will mess with your FPS. So you do not, uh, so don't worry about shaders. Now, for details, uh, you want clouds off. Trees, this is kind of the same thing as the graphics one with the fast and fancy. I'll just keep this on fast. Sky off, sun and moon, keep that off. Block off, transcluent, blocks, I don't have no idea how to say that, don't judge me. But keep that on fast. Dropped items. Now, you know how when you drop an item, it like spins around sort of like on the ground, like when you drop the item? I'll just keep this on default because if you want that, then keep it on default. And then swamp colors, keep this on off. Vigenet, I have no clue what this does, but I just keep it on default. Cloud and hike, that off. Rain and snow off. Stars off. Show capes, you want to keep this on so that when people like have capes, like joining a server and play with you, you'll want to be able to see their capes, right? So just keep that on. And the fox direct, keep this on point two. Held item tool tips, keep this on off. And indie shadows, keep that on off. And smooth biomes, keep that on off. And then go over to animations. And this is super simple. All I have to do is just click all off. And if particles is not already, then keep it on minimal. Don't put it on decrease. There's a huge difference between the two. So just keep this on minimal. Then click done. And then now the render distance. This part is important. This is what's probably going to cause the most lag in your entire game. Now for this part. I'd recommend putting 6 or 8. 8 is good enough. Like, if you have, like, a medium PC. Like, for me, I say my PC is medium. It's not a monster, but I would say a medium PC. So, for me, I would just put on 8. You don't need to go 48 if you have a monster PC. Because, like, 40 is not needed at all. Like, 8 is good enough. Now, if you have a bad PC, like I was saying, like a laptop or a Mac, I'd recommend keeping it at 4. Don't go to 2, because 2 is just too short. Like, if you were to ever play survival games, you would never win. So just keep it at 8, because 8 is good enough. Now for performance, keep this on a limited. This is your FPS, like where you can cap your FPS at. Now my PC can't handle solid 60, but I want to get above that, so I just keep it on a limited. View bobbing. This is like when you run, like when your hand shakes while you run or walk. And if you want that on, then you can turn it on or you can turn it off if you want to. I keep mine on on because it looks kind of satisfying. But yeah, this is not really gonna affect your FPS very much. Use VBOs, I keep that off. Alternate blocks, I keep that on. Dynamic FOV, this is what it's gonna affect with your FOV, like the like the um First person view, it's gonna affect that, so I keep that on. The quality, turn mip map levels, mip map levels off. Uh, keep this off. I'm not even gonna try saying that. But clear water, keep that off. Better grass, keep that off. Custom fonts, keep this on. Like when you join a server, like the welcome message stuff like that, you're gonna want to keep this on. Next texture, textures, keep that off. Custom sky, make sure that's off. Custom GUIs, make sure this is on. Mip map type nearest, uh, you want to keep that on nearest. Anti aliasing, make sure that's off. Random mobs, I have no clue what this does, but I'm going to turn it off just because it does sound a little bit scummy, but I'm just going to keep that off for now. Better snow, make sure that's off. Custom colors, off. Natural textures, off. And custom items, off. So now after that, go to performance. Now, smooth FPS, this is so important. Do not turn this on for any reason. Never, ever turn this on. You will get 30 or below FPS if you turn this on. If you don't know what V-Sync is, it's kind of like when it limits your FPS at 30 or 10 FPS. It just messes with your FPS a lot. So don't turn this on. Fast render, keep this one on. Truck updates, one. Lazy chunk loading, no clue what that does, but I'm pretty sure you want that on. Smooth world, keep that on. Fast math off, and dynamic updates off. And so I go to other. Now lagometer, uh, this shows like the um, shows like the lag bug thing, like the lagometer on the debug screen. You don't need to have this on, so just keep that on off. Show FPS, you can turn this on if you want to, like it'll show the FPS that you have on your screen on the top left corner. But for me, I don't need it because I'm a mod that already shows it to me, my FPS, so I'm just going to turn that off. Whether you can keep that off full screen, I recommend ke keeping this on because it can be faster, but depending on your graphics card, like how it says right there. So basically, you just want to turn full screen on. 
3D, um, you're gonna want to keep this off, and let me tell you why. It's gonna put into like a 3D thing, like when you're gonna need those 3D movie theater glasses. Here, I'll put a picture on the screen of what it'll look like. So, so yeah, so don't turn this on, basically. Debug profile there, keep this off, auto save. Make sure this is on 30 minutes, because believe it or not, this will actually affect your FPS. I don't know why, but it just does. Oh, uh, yeah, you see, like I was right there, two seconds is not recommended, so I just keep mine on 30. So, time, keep this on default. In first screen mode, you want to put this to whatever your monitor resolution is. And if you don't know that, that's fine. I'm going to show you how to figure out what to put here. So to find out what to put here, just hit the Windows key on your keyboard. It'll be Control Alt. It'll be between Control Alt usually. Just press that, and then it's going to take you to your desktop. So once you're at your desktop, just right click, just right click anywhere, and then click Display Settings. So then once this setting loads, you're just going to want to scroll down, and then you'll see this resolution thing here, and then you'll see whatever this thing is right here. Now make sure that it says recommended next to it. Now if it doesn't say recommended like all these, then just don't ignore that. But if it says recommended, then make sure that's that's your monitor resolution. So 1920 by 1080 is my monitor resolution, so I'm going to put this number at 1920 by 1080. So yours might be completely different, but that is totally fine. Just put whatever that number is right there. So then after that, just click done, and then click done again. Now we're going to go over to Snooper settings. Now I've heard that Snooper will actually affect your FPS a little bit, so make sure you turn this off. I, I've always had this off ever since I got the game. So just click done, and after that, uh, just go over here to FOV. Now when I'm PvPing, I usually like to keep it at 130, but if I'm not PvPing or just screaming or just playing casually, then I like to keep it at 90. But if I'm like playing competitively, like grinding or something like that, just put it at uh, 130. It, I'm pretty sure it does affect your FPS, but not by much of what I've seen. So just keep that at 90 for now. So yeah, you're kind of all set. Just go back to Minecraft and you should be good. Minecraft, these settings do work really good for me. Those are the settings I use myself, whether I'm streaming or recording or anything like that. And it does do me pretty good. I get above 100 FPS. Now, obviously, I don't get like a solid 500 FPS because my graphics card isn't the best thing in the world. Like, I don't have like the 2080, you know, that stuff. As you can see, I'm getting pretty well over 60, but I'm just going to wait a second for it to go up. So as you can see, I'm getting pretty healthy over 100 FPS, but of course as I start moving, it goes down. But yeah, the reason why I'm dropping a ton of FPS right now is just because um, I'm recording. If you don't know, I'm using a program called Open Broadcaster Software. It takes up a crap ton of my CPU, so that's why it's decreasing a ton of it. But even though I'm only getting 90 FPS or 80, the game is still totally playable. Yeah, I can totally play in this FPS. But yeah, I promise you though, when I'm not streaming or recording, I get like a solid 60 FPS or above 100, and maybe even 500. So yeah, unfortunately, I only get like a little bit above 100, but I'm totally good with that. So for my next video, I plan on making the best Fortnite settings of all time. If you guys want to see that video, make sure to drop a like and let me know, because I'm still thinking about making it. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If this video helps at all, don't forget to drop a like. That's all I ask for. But yeah, so don't forget to follow me on Twitter, where I post a little updates about when I'm about to go live. Maybe you can stick around for my streams. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more videos. Videos are out weekly. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.